This video is going to show off how to get Game Boy games to look like the original dot matrix screen using the RetroTank 4K. This guide uses the RetroTank 4K, which is an advanced scaler. If you need to learn how to use it or how to adjust certain settings, please check out the RetroTank 4K wiki, which is linked in the description. The original Game Boy is sometimes called DMG because the Game Boy would say dot matrix with stereo sound on the top of the display, so dot matrix Game Boy was shortened to DMG, which is what I'll try to refer to it as for the rest of this video. Before the analog pocket, if you wanted colors resembling the DMG, you'd load up Super Game Boy and try to mess around with Super Game Boy palettes 3H and 4H. This didn't get you exactly the colors you needed, and when you would upscale that on the RetroTank 5X, the colors didn't exactly match the DMG, and you wouldn't use up the whole screen. This worked on Super Game Boy with any game you can play on it, even some Game Boy Color games. You can't even do this with Game Boy Color games that worked on some DMG units on Game Boy Interface due to the way Game Boy Interface loads colors. With the Analog Pocket, you have the option to get DMG colors, and can force these on DMG games and GBC games that work on DMG Game Boys, but there are caveats. You can use 1080p, but that doesn't take up the whole screen, even when you scale to 4K. You can use 720p, which does scale to the full screen at 4K, but the effect is not as detailed as it could be. Thanks to RetroTank community member Bill Gonzo, you can finally have your cake and eat it too. Your DMG games can look as nicely as you'd want, and I'm going to go through the settings you have to adjust to get this effect. All the files are currently available on the newest RetroTank 4K SD card image and can be applied at any firmware. Some profiles are available that apply these settings, but other profiles may come in the next SD card image. First, you need to force a game into grayscale with no additional color correction. As of today, this is available on Super Game Boy, Game Boy Interface, and Analog Pocket. This doesn't work as effectively with the Nintendo Switch. Here are the results when you try to use this setting with the Switch. This isn't exclusive to those consoles. As long as you can set grayscale, you should be most of the way there. Second, you'll need to be able to sharply scale your game to 15 times the original size. There are tons of profiles available on the RetroTank 4K. Your best bet is to apply that profile. Third, make your way to the post-processing menu on the RetroTank 4K. Turn off all scan lines, make your way down to the mask setting and do the following. Turn masks on, set mask strength to 10, and apply the DMG mask. Fourth, find the color correction menu of the RetroTank 4K. Apply the DMG color preset. You'll notice that the screen should go black. That's fine. Finally, head to the RetroTank 4K output menu and turn on HDR. The settings should look right at this point. Here are some games on different consoles using these settings. Enjoy.